I'm the president of, of a, a national parent advocacy organization called the Canadian Equal Parenting Council. So it's a, a federally chartered uh, nonprofit, and uh, we've been in uh, uh, we've been going for over 17 years now, and uh, we've been advocating for parents, and in particular, we're looking to change, uh, as we say, the law and the practice so that uh, no fit parent loses their children to our uh, family law uh, system or to you know, government interference. And certainly as part of what we're trying to do, um, uh, we certainly find that parental alienation is a big uh, factor and an important issue. And uh, relating to what we're trying to do here is of course, we're trying to uh, prevent and eliminate parental alienation through the change of the law, as we say, the law and the practice of family law in Canada. Mm -hmm. So can you explain what is shared parenting? Because it's amazing how many people don't even know what that is. Like your is equal parenting or shared parenting and how does it relate to parental alienation? Like, can you elaborate on, on, on that and explain that really clearly? The, the current system, as I'm sure a lot of the parents will say, is that um, they go into uh, the family court uh, system, uh, hire lawyers, and you fight about it in an adversarial system that pretends to act in the best interests of children. Uh, but in fact, what usually happens is one parent effectively ends up with uh, the control over the, the parenting time of the other. So effectively, what happens is, first of all, uh, one parent effectively is no longer sharing the, the rights and responsibilities of parenting. Uh, one parent has all of the authority there. Uh, and then the second thing that happens is that uh, parents are treated unequally. So if they go to the schools, they're treated, one is treated as a non-custodial parent, the other parent is treated as the, the real parent. So um, the problem with the current system is this inequality and the fact that it is designed as a winner take all, as a, um, a win lose system as all adversarial legal systems are. So it's designed to eliminate one parent just as the native residential schools was designed to eliminate um, you know, uh, Aboriginal parents from the lives of their children. So what, we're, what we currently talk about is equal shared parenting. So it's not enough to have shared parenting if the parents are unequal. So both parents have to have reasonably equal time and they have to have the same rights. There's no reason why you should take uh, a child, ch child away from a parent unless that a parent is clearly unfit or that parent is a real danger to the child. So what we're trying to do is keep both parents in the lives of their children. And this is certainly possible as a lot of other jurisdictions and countries have shown, it's possible in the overwhelming majority of cases.